Yes, I know. I have said no, no, no. But you know what? In desperate times, we may just have to make this work to garden for free, to get food for our family, friends, and maybe even neighbors. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. And today we're going to talk about a box garden. Yep something I am not thrilled about, but I'm going to start this and you're going to watch it progress little by little. So let's open it today on what I'm doing. Right now, I set up a few boxes that evenly go in here quite nice, and I'm going to slowly fill them as I do my totes. Same way as I would any raised bed. Now let me explain something on boxes. They will not be there next year. They will break down. Boxes are even softer than wood chips that are on the ground. They're going to return to the earth as fast as they possibly can because the microbes, the roly polies, everything that gets in there is going to start to eat them. But if you're in a place where you have a very short growing season, maybe you're going to grow in May and maybe by September you're pretty much done, you may be able to do this. You may be able to produce some food. I would not grow anything that's a perennial in here, unless you don't care. I would definitely do annuals. I would do something like tomatoes, zucchini, cucumbers, anything. You could do radishes and carrots and stuff like that in there. But you have to understand that once you plant in there, the water is going to get into the cardboard. It will suck it up like a sponge. It will also draw from the soil. So if you're in an area like in the desert, you will be fighting with that. It will be as if you're watering your plants and when it's hot, that cardboard will act as a sponge and the water will be drawn to the cardboard. Now, it's not a total loss and this is why I'm going to do it together. We're going to see how this goes. I've done it before and I've had them completely decay in a matter of a month into the ground. So they're all different. I've covered them with a tablecloth and plastic and that by the end of the year crumbled to pieces so I don't recommend that. Now the reason I'm doing it here is this is what I'm going to do. This is my plan. I'm going to go around and put in the bottom all kinds of whatever debris I find in the yard. I don't have to worry about drainage on this. I don't even have to put any holes in here. It's going to make its own holes and besides that the boxes are open on the bottom. So no drainage holes, no nothing. Just load, load, load. The first things that are going in there is wood bark, branches, weeds, anything, everything is going in there. Now, could I line the bottom with plastic on the ground? I could, but it won't matter. It's going to mold and rot if I line it with plastic. So there will be no plastic on the ground here. It will be strictly soil. What you see here is native soil there. Okay, so that's what's going to happen here. Now I'm going to do it exactly like I do the totes. Once I get it, oh, about halfway up, mm, but it's just stuff, debris. Like I said, weeds, stuff. You have grass clippings. As long as there's a, any chemicals in there, go ahead and go for it. Anything that has no chemicals, go ahead and put it in there as far as plants. Now as we start to go up, I may throw some native soil in there as well. I might look under flower pots and find some earthworms, but let me tell you something. The earthworms will gravitate to this because not only are they going to want to devour whatever I put in there, they're going to devour the box too. I could have a major roly-poly issue. Any place that they can get into, see the cardboard, let me show you here. See all the space in there? Roly-polies and insects will get in there. They'll get into it all the way around. They'll get under the edges you folded. I could cut the folded edges off, but I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to make it the easiest possible because they're going to get into the cardboard no matter what I do. So we're going to fill this up and then I'm going to take soil from another tote. If you're doing it, go ahead and get some, let's say, a good bag of potting soil and spread it among your boxes. Don't put the whole thing in there unless you want to. You could, I could use one bag of potting soil for all of these. We're also going to put kitchen scraps, shredded paper, toilet paper rolls, whatever you have. You have pine cones, throw them on the bottom. Now here is what's going to be, my guess is, it's going to break down really fast over winter. So come next spring, this is all going to be basically crumbling apart. Any tape on there, anything with plastic, I will just pick up and throw in the trash. The cardboard boxes will be able to be lifted, what's ever left of them, the skeleton of the boxes, and that can be composted or tossed out depending on what is in there. You know, if it's got any plastic tape or something, I don't see. As far as being safe to grow in, 
I'm gonna say yes because it's gonna be out in the elements and it will whatever was in there will break down whether it had formaldehyde or whatever when they're storing boxes think about it they've got to be treated with something or you would be getting deliveries to your house with boxes full of silverfish so there's something in there that's why once I read online from one of the big companies don't use it for growing in they once actually had something that said put it in your recycle bin now they don't really say it it's harder to find so the point is if it had formaldehyde in there and that was keeping silverfish and roaches and stuff out in the warehouses it would dissipate and, they, and it's the same thing if you buy new carpeting a lot of it does have formaldehyde and it dissipates over a week or two so i'm not worried about that so what is going to happen here is those cardboard boxes especially on the bottom will break down and i will have all this whatever is in here for next year soil that i can shovel up and i can put in the totes next year new totes old totes whatever I want and that's what we're going to go with this so if you can't find the tote you can start using your boxes but be aware it will fall apart now this cannot go on a chair I'll show you how to get it on a chair if you want it up and lift it up but anything the way it's set up here it cannot go on a chair because if you lift it up whether it's a chair whether it's bricks whether it's a table it's going to rot from the bottom and fall apart so these are really good to put straight onto the ground if your soil is contaminated some of you said you had lead I wouldn't worry too much because the plants generally only use vegetable plants about six to eight inches to put their roots down that they're going to grab so don't, let's not worry about that you can put this straight on the ground and if you want you could put another layer of cardboard underneath you could bust up a couple boxes and put all your boxes on more cardboard so let's see how this goes we'll go week to week every couple weeks see how it goes I'm going to fill all these up and you and me together are going to watch this grow and we're going to treat it just like a tote and you know that I love totes you can get totes find them when they're on sale for five dollars really the highest price right now for a simple tote we're not talking about heavy duty is about seven look online all the big box hardware stores have them don't go in sometimes and buy them because they seem to put the more expensive ones out but you can look online and have them delivered to the store and pick it up and Lowe's and Home Depot they still have them for five and six dollars all right so let's come back and see what this looks like maybe in a week and we'll kind of go through here and like I said if you can't find anything last resort Go ahead and let's get this set up and let's do it for as close to free as possible that means make your own soil but you know what even if you had to buy a bag of soil for 15 20 dollars that wouldn't be bad to grow all your own tomatoes or your zucchini or cucumbers for a season if you want and remember any soil that's created out of here compost we do not throw away we're going to use it the following year so with that have a wonderful, wonderful day. Let's watch this thing grow. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.